The Trouble with Women is one of my favorite comic books, and it's um, by Jackie Fleming, who is one of my favorite comic uh, artists or writers. And she's British. She's alive. She's got a website. Uh, you you can see my handwriting and pencil because I used this book in class. Okay, take nobody's word for it. Um, this book is based, is informed by what scientists said. Uh, and, you know, the Royal Society is a British, it's like the, the maximum authority of scientists in Britain, okay? So, here, in the olden days, <laughs> oops, shit, okay, in the olden days, you know, there were no women, <laughs> you know, in the olden days, there were no women, which is why you don't come across them in history lessons at school. There were men, and quite a few of them were geniuses, you know. Uh, so, uh, with humor, uh, at times with black humor, or and at times with irony, and, you know, with a, a, a protective distance, you learn about what scientists have been saying throughout a few centuries, I think. I think it's a few centuries, maybe two, about women, maybe more. And I think, I think it, it's funny. I mean, this book is not a, a bestseller, which is absolutely outrageous, because it should be. It should be a bestseller. But in my experience as a teacher with adult learners, I'm an English teacher in public education, and I teach adult learners or students. Uh, some students don't read it because they feel uncomfortable and they think this book is not funny at all. And they get, some women get very upset. I mean, all women that are not feminists uh, discover this and get very upset and some start considering feminism, of course, uh, that feminism might not be such a monster after all, but a source of information which we need to consider, right? But anyway, anyway, I think everybody should read this because feminism is not about insulting men. It's about learning why patriarchy is not a, a good way to organize society for humans, okay? And, and you also have fun, because it's funny. It, it, she's very funny. And this book, in spite of, of how much it hurts, well, for me, a veteran feminist, it doesn't hurt any, anything at all, because, uh, you know, reality is... Is there and, and we know it and 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 there are lo and now look tomorrow it's the eighth of March twenty twenty one, and I will be on strike against uh, violence against women in the world. But you know, following the track, the international track that was started off by by women in the world when they connected through the internet and and managed. To, to open like a global opportunity for, to make uh, the 8th of March a feminist uh, moment of encounter, a, a moment of global encounter to end uh, violence against uh, women. And, and in general, I, it should evolve to, to end patriarchal violence, conceptual, uh, the violence in attitudes and words, physical, of course, it's... We start with that. We started with that. Rape, no, uh, which is a terrifying matter and taboo in our society. And, you know, we cannot speak about rape without being under, under suspicion <laughs> of being lying and, and all that. It's 
like mobbing, right? Uh, rapists and mobbers are quite safe because it's always the person who suffers rape or, or being mobbed who is under scrutiny. And also, well, uh, beatings and, and murders, you know, just for being a woman or for being considered a woman in patriarchal societies, right? Okay, so happy March the 8th, uh, International Women's Day throughout the world. And I hope you get a copy of this wonderful book and you keep it. It's a hardcover. And you keep it, and you read it every now and then, and think about it. Think why hairdos evolved, and what their intention was. Because all of this is, I mean, things happen for a reason. Why uh, women's dresses were like that, and not like that, you know. And... You know, the history of clothing, the history of hairdos, all that. Fashion is not innocent either. <laughs> okay, bye. Sorry for improvising so much. Okay, bye.